Good morning. You're watching Fox 46. Good day, Charlotte. Today happens to be National CBD Day. Even though scientists believe cannabis is a safer, less toxic than alternative medi uh, medications, there's still a lot of questions surrounding CBD, CBD oil. Joining us this morning is one of our Good Day Charlotte friends, Dr. Corinne Weaver. Hello, Dr. Weaver. Good morning. So glad to be here today. I know it's been a while, certainly, definitely pre-COVID. And so I'm glad that we're joining, even via Zoom. Uh, before we get started in CBD, I got to give you a shout out because uh, you and your daughters were so sweet to create a graduation basket for my oldest uh, daughter, Chloe, who graduated this summer. We got a picture. Uh, by the way, just to let everyone know before the emails start coming in, uh, masks, temperature checks, all that stuff happened. Everyone was safe before this picture. So don't send me an email. Don't even think about it. I'll delete it. But thank you, Dr. Weaver. You guys were sweet oh, for, uh, for, making that, for making that, for making that for Chloe. Yeah, that was a very sweet thought. So I, I got to see you, even though no one else in, on Good Day has. All right, let's get to CBD. You've been talking about this for a couple of years now. Why is this such a great alternative to other medications that are out there? Well, you know, a lot of people today are a little bit under stress. Would you say, Jason? Do we have some? <laughs> yeah. Do we have some anxiety? Do we have some depression going on? You know, CBD is known to help these things, and people are successfully using these into sleep. A lot of people are having trouble sleeping, and CBD can be very helpful and useful for these. Now, the reason a lot of people are using it now is because the Farm Bill of 2018 made it legal. And we weren't able to use it for 300 years. So now you're seeing 2019, now 2020, people are using it. But let me tell you, the Journal of American Medical Association tested 84 different brands, and 69% of them were not their label claims, meaning they didn't even have any CBD in them, oh. or 50% less. And a lot of them had uh, lead in them lots of lead. So there's two main things you want to look for. One, you want to make sure it's organic. You were okay. saying that you had some just shipped to you. Right, you want to right. make sure it's organic. Okay. And then you also want to make sure that there's a third party testing it. Because it's such a craze, a lot of people are in it for the money. So they will make products that are not useful. And so if you've tried a product and you're like, that didn't work, maybe you didn't use it properly. So we're going to go over some different tips on how you can use it properly. Yeah, how do you how do, how how do you use it right the right way? Okay, so a lot of people ask me, "Oh, I tried it and it didn't work." Yeah. Well, I'm like, "How good is your liver?" <laughs> <laughs> and they laugh at me, and I'm like, "Well, it has to process through the liver." So are you one of those people that have to drink a lot of alcohol to get a buzz, or you just drink a little bit, right? So it's what it's talking about is you may have to do a loading period with your CBD. You may just need a few drops. So if you drink a little bit of alcohol and you're like, okay, that's all my liver can take, then you're going to start slow. But if you're like one of those people that can drink six beers and not feel anything, you might need a little bit more CBD to get it going. So there's loading periods that I tell patients to do, and you will feel a difference. You have to put it underneath your tongue. It's specific. I like the liquid. You're asking me, you know, there's a beard and there's like gummies. Yeah. Um, we you know, two years ago, we did some elderberry syrup and we I did remember. elderberry tinctures. Yeah. So there's CBD tinctures and you put it underneath your tongue and uh, that helps you get to the brain faster. Yeah. You well, uh, before we run out of time, I, uh, two things quickly. Is it addictive and why are people so fearful and apprehensive of taking this? Well, because they're afraid of the THC component. So yeah. the THC is the psychoactive component. But in the CBD, when you get CBD, there's only less than point. 3%. And to get high, you need at least 16% to 80%. So we're talking about THC, you're only getting 0.3%. Okay, so this is not addictive. It's not marijuana, which a lot of people just kind of assume, well, these are marijuana drops. They're not. And there's a lot of proven, as you mentioned, a lot of proven benefits to taking CBD. Is this something that you recommend to go, obviously, a wellness center like yourself, but to go to your doctor, ask questions maybe before you start, and then and then stay on it for like at least 30 days to see if there's been a difference? Yeah, you definitely want to, because okay. if you're on any kind of different kind of medication, you want to talk to your doctor first, because that will mix with certain medications. I love and my it. And uncle John Easterling and Olivia Newton-John, they actually did a whole documentary series called Answers for Cancer, 
So if you're interested in that, I would definitely say that talks more about the cannabis plant. And they just did that documentary series this week. Oh, cool. I'll have to look at that. Hey, Dr. Corinne Weaver, we always love you being a part of Good Day Charlotte, whether it's Zoom or in person. And we hope the in-person comes back around sooner rather than later. Thank you for uh, cluing us in a little bit more on CBD, National CBD Day. Good to see you. Have a good weekend.